Shabbat Shalom to everyone. Shabbat Shalom and Chodesh Tov and Chanukah Sameach. We have uh, all three this very special Shabbat where we're celebrating Rosh Chodesh Tevet and continuing on our celebration of Chanukah. And of course, Shabbat, taking a nice big deep breath, bringing in all of Shabbat. We'll begin with a little bit of Hanukkah, a little bit of taste of Hanukkah, Ma'otzor. You can find this on page 429 in the Lev Shalem or page 242 if you're using the same Shalom. On the left side of the page. 429. or page 254, bringing in Shabbat, Lechun Aranana. Lechun Aranana Adonai Maria Esor Yishraenu Yikad Mafana Betoda Mizmirot Nari Alo Kiel Gadol Adonai Velecha Vekol Adonai Hashem Lo Hashem Hashem Kwa Futarim Lo Hashem Lo Hiya Vewasau Vyabeshet Yedav Yatsaru Ki Hu Eloheinu Anachnu Amazah Arbaim Shana
משה ואהרון וכהנק ושמואל וקוראי שמו קוראים אל אדוני והוא יען Shabbat Shalom to everyone. Shabbat Shalom. Chodesh Tov, Chanukah Sameach. I was just saying I learned a new holiday, which may not be new for some. Rolly was saying it has, it's had a revival, but Chag uh, HaBanot, which is a, a, North, a North African holiday of uh, celebrating daughters and women and healing. So also Chag uh, HaBanot Sameach to everyone. It is a special Shabbat. Shabbat is always a special time, but we know that we're in the midst of Hanukkah. We're actually heading toward the end of Hanukkah. And there's a discussion in our 
halakha, in our law, in the, in the canon of our law, and the question comes up in a situation where, what do you do if you can only afford Shabbat candles or Hanukkah candles? Hmm. What are you supposed to do? We know that we light our Hanukkah candles first so that we don't light them on Shabbat. Uh, we do that first, and then we light our Shabbat candles, bringing in Shabbat. But the question is, what if you can only do one? Is there one that you should prefer or make a preference over, over the other? And the law comes down and says that you should uh, get your Shabbat candles. You should buy your Shabbat candles. And you may think the reason, I've taught this in a, a toward Shabbat, so I was thinking, oh, okay, so the reason would probably be because we often see that when there's something that is more common or regular in our calendar, we're taught that we do that thing first. So usually if we're even with a greeting, if you were to say Shabbat Shalom, you say Shabbat Shalom first because Shabbat comes weekly. Then we'd say Chodesh Tov because the new month comes monthly and then Hanukkah comes once a year or there are certain mitzvot that we take on that we say we're going to do them, the ones that are regular, actually we, we make them the first one and then we'll do the one that's less regular afterwards. But the rabbis said, no, we buy our Shabbat candles. And the reason why the Shabbat candles need to be lit is because the Shabbat candles rep represent for us shalom bayit. They are the peace within our home. If we don't have our Shabbat candles, quite literally, in a time where there was no electricity, you couldn't see anything in your home. But in a more metaphorical way, we think of the Shabbat candles as bringing in that peace, that light for us. When we say that inner light and saying that what is happening in the home is more important right now, and that's where it all starts. It all starts in the home. It all starts inside of ourselves. And then if you can afford, if you can get the Hanukkah candles, the Hanukkah candles come next. The Hanukkah candles, we know, we put them in the window. We say they are outward-facing candles. These are for us, and they're for everyone who's walking by. They're for the world to know. I'll speak a little more about this tomorrow. They're for the world to know that we have these candles. But it starts, what the rabbis tell us, in this law, it's not even, it's just a simple law and a question of saying, what do we buy if we can only afford one? But I think the message of what they're sharing with us is that they say, the peace at home is where it all begins. It's ripples. When we start within ourselves, the Musar movement teaches us this, one midah at a time, one character trait at a time. It all starts at home, and then it moves into the community, and it moves into our, our state, and it moves into our nation, and the hope is to our world, that it is how we get there. And where does it all start? It's Shabbat. Shabbat is that time for each of us that our souls get to connect with that light, get to connect and slow down, and we say this is the time we're going to invest in our own inner peace, that we're gonna invest in our inner peace, and we're gonna connect that inner peace with our community, and we're gonna take that, and we're gonna take that light and kindle it, and allow it to shine as bright as possible, leading us into a new week, leading us into the world that we hope to see, in the creation of that world that we hope to see, and so on this Shabbat Hanukkah, on this very special Shabbat, which is Rosh Chodesh and Hanukkah and Shabbat, we already see those ripples that will go from that inner peace. Right now, we're taking this tefillah, we take it and we'll take a deep breath, we'll bring in the words of this tefillah, we'll bring in the divine, in that peace of slowing down, in that light we each have inside of us, and then we'll put it in the windows for it to shine for everyone, making its ripple effects in our world, and please God, bringing us a world that is much brighter than it is dark. We turn to... The Chadodi on page 23, page 262, if you're using the Sim Shalom.
May we see it? We continue with the psalm for Shabbat. Mizmor Shirli Yom HaShabbat, page 27 or page 266. We'll pick up toward the middle of the page with Magadlu. Yashavya Tzuri Velo Avlata Mon Anoi Malach Gerut Lavish Lavish Anoi Ozi Tazaraf Tikon Tevel Valtimot Nachon Kisach Amen Heido Techa Nemnu now with the service of Arvit, we turn to page 39a or 279 if you have Sidur Sim Shalom I invite you to rise for Baruch Thank 
כי הם חיינו לאורך ימינו, ובהם נגה יומם ולילה, ותחל תסיר ממנו לעולמים. ברוך אתה אדוני, אוהב עמו ישראל. וכל מאודיך, והיו הדברים האלה, אשר אנוכי מצדך, היום על לבביך, ושיננתם לבניך, ודיברת בה, בשבתך, בביתך, ובלכתך, בדרך, ושורבך, ובקומך, ושרתם לאות על ידיך, והיו בתותפות בין עיניך, וכתבת על מזוזות ביתך ובשעריך, והיה משמוע את יישום רצותיי. קיים עלינו כי הוא אדם זולת תור, אנחנו ישראל עמו וירנה. וירנה מקננו כל שונאינו, עושה לנו ניסים כמה פרעות אותו מופתים בנאדם. שים שלום. פדנו נא את יעקב, וגיע לו מיד חזק ממנו, ארוך אתה אדוני גבל ישראל. תהיו את הפרי פור פיס על פייץ' 45. השכיבנו נאמרנו שלום, ואמינו מלכי לוחם. 
Selkin afikat astirin u kiel shomer u matzirin u atak. Ushmort seitenu Yerushalayim, the Amidah begins on page 47 or 296 in Sim Shalom, we had the Shabbat, the section Yalei Ve'yavo for Rosh Chodesh and Alan Nisim for Hanukkah.
Page 314, if you have Sim Shalom. Thank <laughs> you. 
or 318 I think we have some do we have cups we don't have cups yeah yeah there's some there's some cups so Bob is going to maybe we need somebody one more person to join Bob to pass the little cups around please take one Ocho candelas para mí Hanukkah linda está aquí Ocho candelas para mí Oh, una candelica Dos candelicas Tres candelicas Cuatro candelicas Cinco candelicas Seis candelicas Siete Candelicas, ocho candelas para mí. Muchas fiestas voy a hacer con alegrías y placer. Muchas fiestas voy a hacer con alegrías y placer. Candelica, dos candelicas, tres candelicas, cuatro candelicas, cinco candelicas, seis candelicas, siete candelicas, ocho candelas para mí. Just uh, one or two kids running around. Yeah, I see two. I did two. Two. Kids. Come here for the for the bracha. God bless you. Come, come, come. Yes. Together, Amen. Shabbat Shalom. He's already running. (laughs) 
page 56. עלינו לשבח לדוב על הכל, לתת גדולה ליוצא בראשית, שלא עשנו כגויי הארצות, ולא שמנו כמשפחות האדמה, שלא שם חלקנו כהם, וקור עלינו ככל המונם, ואנחנו קוראים ומשתחווים ומודים. לפני מלך מלכי המלכים, הקדוש ברוך הוא. שהוא נותן שמיים ויהיה של שני הדוסות ולומים ולומים. וידע את היום אשר הוא תל אביך, כי אין מים כמו אלוהים אשר מתח. כתוב בתורת אחד עונאים לוך לעולם ועד for in mourning and those who mark your side are invited to remain standing. Mourners Kaddish. Mourners Kaddish on page 58. Those who are saying Kaddish on Zoom are now invited to unmute. 58 or page 324 in Sim Shalom. יתקדל ויתקדש שמר הבא. בעלמה דברה כרעותה וימליך מלכותה חייכון וביומכון וחיה את כל בית ישראל בעגלה ובזמן קריב אמרו אמן. יהי שמר הבא מברך לעלם ולעלמי עלמיה. פרח והשתבח והתפאר והתרומם והתנשא. והתהדר והתעלה והתעלה על שמי נקודשה בריחו. לעילה מן כל ברכתה, שירתה, תושפחתה ונחמתה, דמירן בעלמה ואמרו אמן. יהי שלמה רבה מן שמעיה וחיים עלינו ועל כל ישראל ואמרו אמן. עושה שלום וכל ישראל ועל כל יושבי תבל ואמרו אמן. שבת שלום. To say a warm mazal tov to our director of operations here at BJ, Jonathan Muniz, his wife Erika, on the birth and their daughter Ari, on their birth of their son and brother Kian, Jonathan Muniz. I'd like to offer condolences to David and Julie Braille, their children Jordan, Marisa, Eliza, Lindsay and Carly on the death of David's father Jack Braille. And to Shirley Leopold, her children, Sarah Leopold Spinell and Mitchell Spinell, and uh, Sarah and Mitchell's children, Jacqueline and Phoebe, and their entire family on the death of uh, Shirley's husband, Sarah's father, Vernon Leopold. We'd like to uh, invite everyone who registered to come to stay for Shabbat dinner uh, to go after the tefillah to the third floor, through this door, to the room, to the big room on the third floor. Ari will be leading the dinner tonight. And if there's people who haven't signed up but uh, have, need a place to go for Shabbat, for Shabbat dinner, please go. We're sure that uh, the cold kept some of the people away. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure there's extra food. And it's going to be nice and warm. And Ari is going to sing a lot of songs. So enjoy the Shabbat dinner. Uh, tomorrow morning, it's going to be very cold. Mm -hmm. But we're still going to come and be here and be warm and be in community and pray and celebrate Shabbat and Rosh Chodesh and Hanukkah in that order. And if you come early at 8.45, there's an extra credit. 8.45, we have a Hanala Tfilah. We're going to begin to prepare for the Tfilah with Pew Team, with beautiful songs. So come at 8.45 in the chapel. It's going to be really nice and warm and intimate. Mm. And then we begin the tefillah of Shacharit at 9.30. Here we have tomorrow's three Sifrei Torah. It's a unique opportunity to experience three Sifrei Torah. Uh, and at the end of Shabbat, when it's dark again, will be time for 
Ravit and Havdala will join on Zoom at 5.25 on Zoom tomorrow. On Sunday and Monday, uh, Minyan will be in person as well as on Zoom. We invite people to come in person if they're able, if they are in the neighborhood. Of course, because it's cold, some people are gonna prefer to stay home, but that's the wrong decision. <laughs> if you are close by and you're able to come, please do come Sunday and Monday at 9.15 to make sure we have a minyan. People are saying Kaddish, so it's important to get out of bed. And then you can go back home and there's nothing better. You come from the cold, it's super cold. You've, done, you've had a beautiful prayer service, then you get back in home your, and you get back in bed. Your soul is warm. <laughs> your soul is it warm. It stays with you all day. <laughs> exactly. We want to remind everybody that the BJ office will be closed this week so as to give our staff a little time to breathe. It's been very intense, a number of months. So we ask everybody to please respect that and do not send emails to staff members during this week until the 3rd of January. They have a little time to breathe. So if there's anything urgent, of course, there is an emergency light, if there is an emergency line. But if something is not urgent, please be patient and wait and allow our staff to, to take a breath. Uh, on Monday, I will be part of a uh, four-day seminar that is organized by the Drisha Institute for Jewish Education. Mm -hmm. I will be teaching on Monday at 12.45 uh, a session on preparing for prayer and kavana. The whole uh, learning this week for Drisha is about the what and how of kavana. So if you want to know what kavana is and how to prepare, mm -hmm. you may attend there are some wonderful sessions throughout the week. Um, the last thing I want to say is that five weeks ago, um, we were about to start this major event in the world called the World Cup. There were 32, 32 teams, 32 teams that qualified from all over the world after a very long process. 32 teams made it. Ari and I were really having a lot of faith and belief that our team was going to make it. And people laughed and dismissed it. But I kept looking at my tzitzit, because I have a techelet. <laughs> and my tzitzit have the flag of the winning team. And I kept looking at my tzitzit, and I kept saying, God is going to make this happen. And God made it happen. In the and most the exciting game of all and time. And 26 players who made it happen. And so uh, Ari and I went to sh want to share our joy with you, because our country has become world champions of the most popular and wonderful sports in the entire world. So uh, it will last for four years. And in four years, we'll see. We'll, see. <laughs> <laughs> we'll end with uh, Maotsur, a different version than the one we started, page 429 in this uh, Sidur Lev Shalem on the left-hand side of the page. If you have Sidul Sim Shalom, it's found on page 242. And maybe people can stand and will sing Mao Sur standing and loud and beautiful.
אדוני עוז לעמו ייתן, אדוני יברך את עמיו בשלום, שבת שלום, חודש טוב, חנוכה שמח. שושנים, בני בינה ימי שמונה, קבו שירו לנים, היי ראי ראי יאי רדן ליי ראי, ילד ליי ראי ראי, היי ראי ראי יאי רדן ליי ראי, ירד ליי ראי ראי, היי ראי ראי Ya ra la la ya ha 